We're out here at uh, at the creek, and right now we're we're just watching walleye spawn, and this is incredible. We're recording them on this new HD Aquaview camera that we have set out in the water, running it on a computer. Look at them run. Look at those fish move. Just waves of them keep coming through. It's so cool. You know, over the years, I've shot a lot of underwater photography of fish. Rivers are one of the primary areas walleyes run to spawn in our North Country lakes. The correct bottom is critical, which is clean rock and gravel. It's interesting how walleyes come into these spawning sites. One night there's no fish. The next night they all show up. How far did they come from? How did they show up exactly at the same time? The spawn occurs in a narrow window in spring when the water temperature rises into the mid 40 degree range. Walleyes are broadcast spawners. The female usually dumps between 300 to 400 eggs at a time during five minute intervals, which are then fertilized by multiple males. The eggs then fall and stick to the bottom to incubate for 10 to 20 days. The walleye eggs you see being laid here will be catchable fish in about four years, if they make it that long. Today, a lot of walleyes we catch are stocked fish that come from DNR stripping stations and egg factories. The reason they do this is to raise more fish in sort of a protected state to minimize the mortality of the eggs, fry, and fingerlings, which are then stocked into lakes that don't have good natural reproduction. In many of our big lakes, natural reproduction still makes up the bulk of fish we catch.